before, after. Back in the garage here. What's up, everybody? Let's go under. To give you guys a perspective where I'm at, that's the front of the car over there. Shift linkage. So the shift linkage is here. Uh, like I was saying two videos ago, the actual shift linkage right now, it's sitting incorrectly. It's sitting like this when it should be sitting like this. So that chubby part of that shift linkage should be facing the firewall. Instead, right now, it's facing the, the rear of the car. So all I have to do is the bolt that's holding uh, the whole shift linkage, well, the, you know, it's holding the short shift into the shift linkage. I just have to rotate it. That's all I really have to do. Just have to go ahead and loosen this nut here and then hold it with the Allen key on this side. It's a six millimeter. And then just grab this part of the short shifter and just rotate it 180 degrees. Once I rotate this right here, it'll do the same effect up there. And then the short shifter will be sitting properly. so this thing is loose right now all i have to do literally is just rotate it and you'll see it rotated up there yeah like that boom see now the orientation is like that and before it was like like that now it's like that so to show you guys the top view before it was like that and this is proper, like that. Now that's good. Now we talking. Now before I take the car down from its jack stands and take it for a test drive, I'm gonna install some grease because it's squeaking a bit, the shift linkage. I have some EP Molly grease here, just gonna Put a little bit, just a little dab around that, uh, around the ball of the short shifter, uh, cause it's squeaking there. So just gonna grab a little dab here. We should be good. A few dabs around there, around the whole circle. There we go. So I put some of the grease around the ball, of the short shifter and around the surroundings. So, um, that should be good enough. Uh, it should stop the squeaking. Just a little dab. I kind of, I kind of went overkill, but it's all good. Before, after. All right, so like last time, the actual center of the box, the whole box from end to end, six inches, that hasn't changed. Uh, so that doesn't even matter. So looking where neutral sits at the most front part of that lump, I'd say it's still the same with the OEM shift lever. It's like at one seven eighths of an inch. From here, it looks like it's like two and a half, but. You no, know, at the most outer part of that lump, it's like one and seven eighths. So that hasn't changed. But let us engage first gear and see what changes. It's the first time that I swear working on the car, man. That's how you know summer's coming around the corner. But anyways, what I really care is the distance between first and second gear. I really don't care where first gear starts, um, just the distance that there is from first to second gears, but I'm just measuring just so I can compare it to uh, the OEM shift lever. So let's see. So looking at where it's sitting, it looks like it's at, you know, one and seven eighths or two inches, but no, I'd say fair. It's sitting right around one and one half of an inch. Mind you that OEM shift lever is sat at one and one eighth of an inch, which would have been like way more ahead. So it would have been like at that second line right there after the one. So you see that one, it'd be two lines after. That's where the OEM shift level was sitting at. So this one doesn't go as far, so that's good. So this one's sitting, I'd say at one and one half of an inch, which would be right there, one and one half of an inch. Or in centimeters, that would be, you see, one and one half of an inch, that'd be roughly, 3.8, 3.9, 3.85, 3 3.8, let's just say 3.8 centimeters. So that's first gear, so let's go ahead and transition into second gear. All right, so looking at it right here, this is second gear. I say 
it's sitting at two two and one half of an inch two and a half inches yeah two and a half inches it looks like it's like three here but no it's like yeah two and a half inches which would be two and a half inches that would be in centimeters i'd say that would be 6.3 or 6.4 cool let's do 6.3 6.3 centimeters so it's pretty impressive man so the first gear this thing starts at one and a half inch when i throw it in the second gear it goes to two and a half inch uh so the total travel between first gear at the outermost part and second gear at that outermost part it's an inch uh or in centimeters that would be two and a half centimeters in comparison to the oem shift lever when it started in first gear it would start at one and one eighth of an inch and in second gear the outermost part of the shift lever it stay at two and three quarters of an inch so basically the oem shift lever it would go a lot farther here in first gear and it would draw back a lot farther here in second gear so the difference between one and one eighth of an inch and two and three quarters of an inch that comes out to one and five eighths of an inch which converts to 4.2 centimeters so the total travel between first gear and second gear on the oem shift lever is 4.2 centimeters versus the skunk 2 single bend short shifter the travel is only two and a half centimeters so basically by installing a skunk 2 short shifter you decrease the travel distance between your gear at least first and second gear you decrease it by literally half so like i said the oem shift lever a the travel is 4.2 centimeters but with the skunk 2 short shifter the travel between first and second gear is two and a half centimeters or one inch one inch equals two and a half centimeters whichever way you want to read it or measure it in that's pretty impressive man. that's pretty good so physically you are throwing the shift lever a lot shorter or the short shifter um and how quickly you respond to it that's up to you that would be driver mod but in fact for certain 100 percent, your throw is not as long as an oem shift lever there's only one more thing left to do man go ahead and go drive it so let's do it <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much the video. Uh, just a review of the short shifter, the Skunk 2 short shifter, the single band, and the hybrid racing shift knob. I would 100% recommend this. Uh, I think every penny is worth it. It's, it, you know, it's a bang for your buck. I mean, what you pay for is what you get, and it's honestly a pretty cool, simple modification that will make your driving experience in your Civic a lot better, or Integra, Del Sol, whatever you guys are putting it on, CRX. Uh, I love all those chassis out there. Uh, but yeah, man, I would 100% recommend it pretty simple pretty easy you guys saw the removal and the install videos if you guys haven't it's in my channel go ahead and check them out other than that guys uh that's pretty much it for today's video so uh go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day uh take care and i'll see you guys next time all right guys peace out peace